Hey everybody, I'm John Rourke, Editor-in-Chief of Phoenix Home and Garden Magazine, and we are here in Scottsdale for the opening of the 18th annual Arizona Fine Art Expo. Uh, almost 80 artists, thousands of artworks to see and buy, and right now we'd like to introduce you to one of the featured artists, John Crocker. Tell us a little bit about your work. Uh, watercolor seems <laughs> to be a lost art anymore. Um, not many people are doing it, and I have carried it to the point that it's uh, uh, very intricate and, and detailed, more so than most watercolorists do. Um, I enjoy it because it is, I like the negative aspect of the whites on it. Don't have to paint the white, you paint around it. You actually exactly. paint opposite and have to think backward painting watercolors. Which is good for the brain. Yes, I think it is good for the brain. <laughs> Um, I do have a little saying up here that uh, watercolor is best practiced by those who are <laughs> who strive in chaos. So, and I, I think that's very true. And so you do both. It looks like figurative and landscapes. Okay. I do. And you, you, um, we were just talking, and you have a house in Ireland. I do live in Ireland with uh, my partner. I met her eight years ago online after I was widowed. Uh, two years before that and had never been to Ireland and uh, went over and that's the rest of the story. <laughs> that's beautiful. And now how long have you been painting? Yeah. I've actually only been painting seriously uh, about eight years. Okay. Um, the story kind of goes, ten years ago uh, I lost my wife and my daughter and my father all the same year and obviously was devastating um, and I had studied art in college but had two ad agencies and uh, worked with those and in 2008 I had to quit that and take care of sick people Sure. and four years later they all passed and a year and a half later I met Gina and between Gina and the painting saved me. That's fantastic. Yeah. And did you start with watercolor? Because many people say that that's one of the most difficult uh, medias to work in. I did start with watercolor. Um, there is a saying that goes, uh, I think it might be up here, um, one of these sayings that uh, great artists start with watercolor and end with watercolor. Oh, well, okay. I have, I've tried oils and acrylics and all, but I, I still come back to watercolor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what is it about watercolor in particular that, that you love? First of all, it's clean, water-based, yes. which makes it uh, nice. But also, the thing that I like about it is the transparency of it, that I can layer it as opposed to put an opaque oil color down and then something on top of it. I like to be able to build those colors, and especially with the portraits, I could never get the flesh tones that I was after with with oils because you're blobbing it on top of each other it's opaque on opaque on opaque right uh, and you can use you can use oils uh a little more translucent but watercolor just has that uh characteristic and works that way and i do lots of commissions of portraiture and skin tone so it just works better for me for skin tone okay all right, and you're going to be here off and on through? I'll, I'll be here the whole time. I am uh, I do have some help, some family here. Uh, I'm actually from Colorado, so uh, they'll be coming and going some. And then, like I said, my uh, partner, she's back and forth and is here for the next three or four weeks, and then she's going home, and then she'll be back for the end. So, okay. uh, yeah, planning on taking a little bit of time off and playing some golf down here. You so. have to while you're out here. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, come on out to the Arizona Fine Art Expo and meet John and the other artists who are out here. You can get tickets uh, online. You can see the link in our bio, and it's open every day from 10 to 6. Incredible show, incredible artwork. Uh, be sure to stop by.